You'll probably be surprised to hear that an estimated 300,000 people here in Idaho are providing critical daily in-home health care to loved ones. Those caretakers are now the focus of a new project focused on their mental health. Our Tammy Tremblay has the story. There are thousands and thousands of people taking care of their loved ones at home. The figure we hear most often is one in four, but we have done some work with AARP and we've, you know, roughly 300,000 Idahoans a year are unpaid family caregivers. But it's a difficult number to pin down because it's invisible. People, you know, people do not identify as caregivers. I'm a mom, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter. And so they don't think in those, they don't wear that hat. Right. And so it's difficult to find an accurate number. Marilyn Sword is a coordinator for the Idaho Caregiver Alliance, a nonprofit focused on providing essential support to caregivers. In fact, a project was recently launched. And we provide a free navigator. Uh, they can be accessed via phone or online and they um, it's available to caregivers across the lifespan so if you're an adult and you're caring for your parent of a child with developmental delay or you're a senior caring for your spouse or anything in between you can and you're feeling the pressures of caregiving you can call this number or go online and take a short screener and one of our navigators will contact you and go through a more complete assessment, um, work with you on a second meeting to develop a plan that has, I think, no more than three or four goals for you to work on to keep your resilience as a caregiver. That's wonderful. The project is funded by Medicaid and it's free for caregivers. Hundreds have been helped so far. Most services out there focus on the patient or the client. This focuses on that invisible caregiver in the background. Mm -hmm. And so often we have caregivers say, oh, you wanna know what's impacting me? You know, they're not used to somebody asking about how they're doing with their caregiving. And with this program, after they've developed their plan, then there's, they can call back in at any time and talk to that and the navigator will reach out at three months and say, how you doing? Do we need to change this plan? Uh, do you still need our help? That kind of thing. And then again at six months and then at 12 months. Well, Marilyn, you must have heard from caregivers that something like this was needed, necessary. Well, we have, and it's been interesting. People have said, boy, I wish I knew about you earlier. Of course, we weren't yeah. around earlier. Yeah. But so, even though it's a two-year pilot, it's this is a big. It's a test. You know, we're trying to see kind of what the need is, and if we're feeling needing that need. And so far, we think we are. I mean, people have said to us, "This is nobody has ever asked this of me before." And thank you for the support you're providing. So, can anybody reach out to be a part of this? Absolutely. Any, if anyone is a caregiver, and we're focusing on Southwest Idaho, but that doesn't mean that if you live in Ontario and you're taking care of your mom in Boise, give us a call. We may not know about the Oregon services as much, but we'll try to connect you. And what we try to do is a really warm handoff. And so anybody who's an adult, who's caring for anybody of any age, doesn't require insurance, you don't have to be on Medicaid. Um, we'll just do our best to connect you, to help you identify the supports you need and then connect you with the resources to help you. In Boise, Tammy Tremblay. So it's very high touch and very personal. Idaho's News Channel 7. And if you'd like to connect with the Idaho Caregiver Alliance, you can call 208 426 5899 or go to the nonprofit's website caregivernavigator.org. We also have that information in this story on our website at ktvb.com.